we're going to begin by standing and coming to the top of our mat. Feet are hip distance apart as we begin in mountain pose. We're going to roll the shoulders back, giving up the tension and stress of our day. We are drawing strength up from the floor, up through the legs, up through the spine, opening the heart. Keep the heart slightly tilted towards the ceiling. One more time, let's roll the shoulders back and simply give up. We are breathing in through the nose deep breath and when you're ready you're going to slowly exhale through the throat <sighs> let's begin our pranayama breathing we're going to interlace the fingers and place them underneath the chin and we're going to bring the elbows together we're going to start by inhaling through the nose, a deep breath. Elbows slowly come up, lengthening the spine. Hold the breath for just a moment and slowly exhale through the throat. Elbows come together, gently looking towards the ceiling, opening up the heart and lungs. Once you exhale all the air out of the lungs, repeat. This breathing is the foundation of our class. With each inhalation, challenge your lungs to breathe deeper than they ever have before. Holding that breath momentarily, slowly begin to exhale through the throat until every ounce of air is out of the lungs. Continue this deep breathing. This breath is known as pranayama breathing. I like to call it the breath of life. Continue breathing this breath of life. And on each exhalation, you will exhale all the air out of the lungs. And you will notice that your diaphragm moves inward, upward. You can even pull the pelvic floor upwards on that last ounce of air releasing the pelvic floor you begin to breathe inhaling inward filling the lungs back up challenging the lungs mentally on your next exhalation release all of your stress your problems and prepare yourself for your class hands come in front of the heart center set your intention for this practice and exhale slowly release the arms we're going to begin by moving into our sun salutations. We're going to inhale the arms overhead. Palms are pressing. You are reaching for the ceiling, extending the spine upward as you slowly exhale. Fold forward, reaching for that front wall, slowly moving into your first forward fold. You are releasing the head and neck. You are releasing the shoulders. You are releasing the spine. On each exhalation, I want you to challenge yourself to simply give up and allow the crown of the head to move a little bit closer 
down towards the mat. Breathing, we're not holding our breath, we are breathing that breath of life. And we're gonna bend the knees, we're gonna place the hands on the mat and we're gonna step our right foot all the way back into a lunge position. Your left knee is directly over the ankle. Let's inhale, reach for the front wall. Inhale, the torso moves upwards. You are reaching for the ceiling, extending the spine upward, adding a slight arch in the back if you can, and we're gonna exhale, arms come back behind us. We're gonna interlace the fingers, stretching the shoulders, opening the heart. You can gently look to the ceiling and open up your throat and then exhale hands in front of the heart center. Twisting your spine, we're gonna bring that right elbow across the left leg. With each exhalation, you can twist just a little bit deeper. If you are able, you can move into a bind if you like. And let's exhale, hands back in front of the heart center. Both hands are gonna move all the way down to the mat to the right side of the foot, releasing the right knee, releasing the toes down to the mat. We're moving into our first hip opener. You can always modify this posture to progress in your practice. Let's exhale, tuck the toes under, knees come up. We're gonna step our left foot all the way back to meet the right. Hands and feet are shoulder width apart. We are in a plank position. I want you to firm up your quadriceps, firm up your torso, strengthening the arms. Inhale, slowly begin to lower the body down towards the mat, challenging yourself to hover over the mat if you can. If you cannot hover, it is okay. Let's inhale, slowly come back up. And we're gonna inhale, slowly lower back down. This time we're gonna move into an upward facing dog, releasing the toes behind you. Your hands should either be directly underneath the shoulders or slightly behind the shoulders, opening the heart, protruding that heart forward. Let's exhale into a downward facing dog, stretching your legs and knees back out. Tailbone is reaching for the ceiling. Let's take a nice deep breath in this posture and inhale, step your right foot forward between the hands, putting us back into another lunge. Right knee directly over the ankle. Let's inhale, reach for the front wall. Inhale, torso comes up. We are now reaching for the ceiling. Once again, we're extending the spine, slight arch in the spine. Let's exhale. Arms come back behind us, interlace your fingers, stretching the shoulders, opening the heart, looking to the ceiling if you are able and open up your throat and exhale, hands back in front of the heart center. Twisting your spine, once again, that left elbow moves across the right leg. With each exhalation, slowly twist just a little bit more because every single inch counts in yoga. Let's exhale hands back in front of the heart center. Both hands come down to the mat, this time to the left of the foot, releasing the left knee towards the mat, releasing the toes behind you as we move into our right hip opener. You can slowly lower the body down towards the mat. Breathe into this posture with your breath of life. Let's tuck the toes under, knee comes up, and we're gonna step the right foot all the way back to meet the left. Hands and feet, shoulder width apart, firming up your body, firming up your mind that you're gonna have an amazing practice. Let's inhale, slowly begin to lower down, hovering over the mat if you can. Challenge yourself to move well beyond your limitations. Strong mind, strong body, inhale, slowly come back up. We're gonna inhale, this time we're gonna lower down. We're gonna move into an upward facing dog, releasing the toes behind you, hands directly underneath the shoulders or slightly behind the shoulders, opening the heart, protruding that heart forward. Exhale into a downward facing dog, stretching the legs and knees back out. Tailbone is reaching for the ceiling. You are breathing that deep breath of life in through your nose. And let's inhale, look forward, walk or jump the feet forward between the hands, putting us back into another forward fold. You are releasing the head and neck. 
You are releasing the shoulders. You are releasing the spine and you are challenging yourself to give up the things in your life that serve you no purpose. Let's bring the hands back together, interlacing the fingers, releasing the index finger, and inhale, reaching for that front wall, slowly coming up, reaching for the ceiling. Once again, we are extending the spine, opening the heart, protruding that heart forward. Pelvis moves forward slightly, half moon pose. Let's begin to push the hips to the left side of the room, curving the body over to the right. Remember, we are lifting up and over. One more second. And exhale, let's move back to the center. Pelvis moves forward slightly. This time we're gonna push the hips to the right side of the room, curving the body up and over to the left. Do not hold your breath, we're still breathing. Let's exhale, back to the center. Now we're gonna gently look up across the fingertips. When we do, we're gonna relax our shoulders, release the neck, and we're gonna inhale, move into a slight back bend. How far back you bend is completely up to you, arching the spine, opening the heart, straightening the arms, exhale, slowly reaching for the front wall, moving into our third forward fold, releasing the head and neck, releasing the shoulders, and challenging yourself to release the spine. This is your day, this is your life, this is your breath. Challenge yourself to release the things that serve you no purpose. Let's bend the knees, place the fingertips up underneath the toes. How far is completely up to you. First challenge is to bring your forehead into the legs, compressing the upper body into the lower body. Second challenge is to slowly try to straighten the legs all the way back out. If they do not straighten all the way out, it is okay. It is not meant to be in your practice today. Let's bend the knees, bring the fingers back together, interlacing, releasing the index finger, inhale, reach for that front wall, slowly coming up, reaching for the ceiling. On your next inhalation, reach just a little bit more. And exhale, arms slowly release. We're gonna turn to face the right side of the room, moving into our warrior series of postures. Let's inhale, we're gonna Bring the arms up overhead, palms are pressing. Once again, we are reaching, and this time we're gonna step out to the right about three to four foot distance as the arms move parallel to the mat. In this posture, we are lengthening the spine upward, abdomen pulls inward, heart is wide open, feeling strong. Let's pivot that right foot to the back wall, bending the right knee, slowly begin to sit into a warrior two. Make sure that your right knee is directly on top of the ankle and your torso is upright. Reverse warrior. Left hand to the left thigh or the lower spine and inhale, the right arm is reaching for the ceiling. You are opening up and expanding the right side of the body. One more second and exhale. Arms move parallel to the mat. Challenge yourself to sit a little bit deeper into this warrior two. And we're gonna look back across the left fingertips. Palms are gonna flip up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna windmill the arms into a triangle pose. Right hand is reaching for the mat, but does not have to touch the mat. Left hand is reaching for the ceiling, opening the heart, stacking the shoulders. You can also move into a bind if you are able. Let's exhale, slowly release, arms parallel. We're gonna straighten the right leg and pivot the toes back to the center. Once again, we are lifting the spine upward, abdomen inward, heart is wide open. Pivot your left foot to the front wall, bending your left knee, slowly begin to sit into a warrior two. Torso is upright, left knee directly on top of the ankle, reverse warrior. Right hand to the right thigh, inhale, your left arm is reaching for the ceiling, opening up the entire left side of the body. If you do not know where your stress hides, it's okay. We will find it and we will destroy it. Let's exhale the arms parallel to the mat, sitting a little deeper into this warrior two. We're gonna look back across the right fingertips. Palms are gonna flip up towards the ceiling and we're gonna windmill the arms into a triangle pose. Your left hand is reaching for the mat, but does not have to touch the mat. Right hand is reaching for the ceiling, stacking the shoulders, opening the heart. You can also move into a bind if you are able. Inhale, 
Slowly release. Arms are parallel to the mat. Left leg straightens. Toes pivot back to the center. Hands are going to move to the hips. We're going to inhale. We're going to move into a slight back bend, opening up the heart and slowly begin to exhale, fold forward. Hands come down to the mat. First challenge in this wide stance, forward fold, is we're going to move those feet outwards. Let's really lengthen the space between our feet. Second challenge is to reach your hands out to the ankles or the outer edges of the feet, pulling the crown of the head down towards the mat. If the crown of your head is not touching the mat, it is okay. It is not meant to be for your practice today. Let's bend the knees. Place the hands on the thighs. The torso is going to move up only halfway. We're going to bring the arms behind us, interlacing the fingers, and we're going to stretch the shoulders, open the heart, exhale, fold forward, and slowly straighten the legs back out. Let's bend the knees, place the hands back on the thighs, torso once again only comes up halfway. Then we're going to bring the hands to the hips and bring the torso up all the way. Shorten your stance a few inches here. Now we're going to pivot our right foot to the back wall and we're going to pick the left foot up and shift it over towards the back wall. Make sure that your hips and shoulders are parallel with your mat. Right hand on the right hip, inhale, the left arm is reaching, expanding. Slowly exhale, fold forward. You are reaching as that left hand moves all the way down to the mat. Maybe you might place that hand on the foot or shin. You might be able to place your hand all the way over to the right side of the foot. Rotating your right shoulder towards the ceiling, inhale, the right arm is reaching for the ceiling for a revolving triangle, stacking the shoulders, opening the heart, breathing your breath of life. Both hands come back to the mat. Before you come up, both hands to the hips and inhale slowly, come up. Let's pivot to the center. Pivot to the front wall. Your hips and shoulders are perfectly square with your mat. Left hand on the left hip. Inhale, the right arm is reaching, opening up, expanding. And exhale, slowly fold forward, reaching for the front wall. Your right hand is going to move either to the mat, to the top of the foot or shin, or maybe all the way over to the left of the foot. The choice is yours. Let's rotate the left shoulder towards the ceiling. Inhale, the left arm is reaching for the ceiling, stacking the shoulders, opening the heart. Do not hold your breath. You are breathing that deep breath of life. Both hands come down to the mat. Before you come back up, both hands move to the hips and inhale, slowly come back up. Let's pivot to the center. Pivot to the back wall. Hips and shoulders are perfectly square with your mat. We're going to inhale the arms overhead, interlacing the fingers, releasing the index finger. Now we're going to accomplish four things in this posture. Number one, I want you to reach for the ceiling, extending the spine. Number two, we're going to move into three locks. Pull your pelvic floor inward and upward, abdomen inward, chin locks down to the chest, holding these three locks. We're going to exhale, fold forward, rolling that spine down towards the right foot. Do not hold your breath, but continue to hold those three locks. And inhale, slowly rolling the spine back up. Once your arms are reaching for the ceiling, I want you to release your pelvic floor, abdomen, and then chin from the chest. Let's pivot to the center. Let's pivot to the front wall. Hips and shoulders, once again, are perfectly square with your mat. We are going to accomplish four things. You are reaching for the ceiling. Bring your pelvic floor upward. Some of you know that as a Kegel. Abdomen pulls inward, chin locks to the chest. Exhale, roll the spine down towards the left foot. Continuing to breathe your breath of life. We are energizing the body. We are oxygenating the body. We are letting go of the things that serve us no purpose. And inhale, slowly 
Roll the spine back up. Once the arms are reaching for the ceiling, release your pelvic floor, release your abdomen, and release the chin from the chest. Pivot to the center. Hands to the hips. We're gonna pivot one more time to the back wall in this particular series of postures. We're gonna bring our hands back behind us, either in a prayer position with the fingers facing upwards. Some of you can simply reach for opposite elbows. We're gonna inhale, reaching the spine upward, slight back bend, and slowly begin to exhale, fold forward, extending the body out beyond that right foot, moving the forehead beyond the toes. You continue to extend the spine forward, and inhale. Let's slowly come back up. We're gonna to pivot to the center. And we're gonna to pivot to the front wall. One more time, left leg is straight. We're gonna inhale a slight back bend, opening up the heart. And exhale, fold forward. You're extending the body outward. Forehead is reaching out beyond the toes. Breathing your breath of life. And let's inhale. Slowly come all the way back up. Your right foot is gonna step forward to meet the left. Arms release. And one more time, let's inhale the arms overhead, palms are pressing. You are reaching the body. Every single molecule in your body is reaching for that ceiling. On your next inhalation, reach just a little bit more. And exhale, slowly release. We're gonna take a moment to drink some water, towel off. And we're gonna move into the middle of our mat. We are moving into our chair series of postures. So I want you to stand, feet are separated about shoulder or hip distance apart, depending on your body. Let's inhale the arms out in front, nice and relaxed. Make sure your neck is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. And we're gonna inhale, slowly begin to sit into an imaginary chair weight of your body is should be on the heels eventually the glutes begin to sit a little bit lower for an advanced version you can move up onto the toes be careful of any knee issue that you might have in this posture we are not focusing on the quads we are focusing on our breath our breath of life it's moving in through the nose inhale slowly come back up this time we're gonna move all the way up onto the toes. Inhale the arms, reaching for the ceiling, opening the arms, opening the heart for our victory pose. This life is your life, it is your breath. You should stand victorious every single day over the things that you have beaten and move beyond. Let's exhale, bring the heels back down. Eagle pose, right arm is gonna move underneath the left, elbows bend, palms are gonna to come together. We're gonna sit back into that imaginary chair once again. We're gonna bring the right leg up and over the left. In this posture, the arms and legs are bound together, but we're not focused on what is bound together. We are focused on our breath. We are focused on our strength. Always remember, if you fall out of a posture, Challenge yourself to get right back in it. And let's exhale. Slowly release. This time the left arm is gonna move underneath the right, elbows bend, palms come together. We're gonna sit back into an imaginary chair as the left leg moves up and over the right. Any problem that you have in this life is represented in this posture, how it is bound together and you feel bound together, but all you have to do to release it is exhale, release. Hands to the hips, balancing series of postures. We're gonna bend our right knee at a 90 degree angle and the toes should be reaching towards the ceiling. You can stay here, this is an excellent posture, or you can take the first two fingers of your right hand and interlace them around your right big toe. 
straightening the spine upwards, opening the heart, slowly begin to straighten the right leg out in front. Eventually, you might be able to swing the right leg out to the right side of the room. Continue lengthening the spine towards the ceiling, opening the heart up. And exhale. Slowly, in a controlled manner, release. Hands to the hips. Bending your left knee at a 90 degree angle, toes are reaching for the ceiling. We're going to take the first two fingers of the left hand and interlace them around the left big toes, straightening the spine up, opening up the heart, slowly begin to straighten the left leg out in front. If there's a bend in your knee, it is okay, it is meant to be there. And eventually, we're going to slowly swing the left leg out to the left side of the room. Keep the spine reaching for the ceiling, opening up your heart. And exhale. Slowly release. Hands to the hips. Standing, forehead to knee pose. We're going to bend our right knee at a 90 degree angle. Toes are reaching for the ceiling. You can stay here or you can interlace the fingers around the right knee. Pulling the knee up into the chest, opening up the heart. You can stay here or you can interlace the fingers underneath the right foot, curving the spine into the leg. Slowly begin to inhale, straighten the right leg out in front. Eventually the forehead works its way down to meet the knee. Challenge yourself to keep a slight bend in your left knee, engaging the quadriceps. If you fall out of a posture, challenge yourself to get right back in it. And let's exhale, slowly release, hands to the hips. Bending the left knee, 90 degree angle, toes are reaching for the ceiling. You can stay here, or you can interlace the fingers around the left knee, rolling the shoulders back, opening up the heart, pulling the knee up into the chest. You can stay here, or interlace the fingers underneath the left foot. Curving the spine into the leg, slowly begin to inhale, straighten the left leg out in front. Eventually, the forehead works its way down to meet the knee. If it takes you two years to get there, it's okay. Let it be a wonderful two-year journey. And exhale. Everybody, slowly release. Hands to the hips. Dancer's pose. Right elbow to the right hip. Your left arm is reaching for the ceiling. We're gonna curl the right leg back behind us. And we're gonna grip our ankle only from the inside of the leg. You can stay here reaching for the ceiling, challenging yourself, or slowly begin to exhale, fold forward, reaching for the front wall as your right leg is reaching for the ceiling. Never be discouraged if you fall out of a posture. Challenge yourself to get right back in it. It is no different than the problems we have in life. If you find yourself discouraged, just challenge yourself to keep moving forward. One step at a time, one breath at a time, one day at a time. Let's exhale, release. Left elbow to the left hip, right arm is reaching for the ceiling. We're gonna curl the left leg behind us gripping the ankle from the inside of the leg. You can stay right here reaching with everything you have, or you can exhale, fold forward, reaching for the front wall, extending the left leg up towards the ceiling. Excellent, let's exhale, slowly release. Take another moment to drink some water if you need to. Towel off. Always remember to continue your deep breathing, even in rest poses, even when we're taking a moment to drink our water. Breathing in through the nose. Slowly exhaling through the throat. Let's step to the back of our mat. 
Continuing that deep breath, we're going to roll the shoulders back. And once again, we're going to give up. Mentally say to yourself, I am giving up the things that serve me no purpose in this life. Heart is open, heart is tilted towards the ceiling. Warrior three. We're going to inhale the arms overhead. Interlacing the fingers, release the index finger. We're going to extend the body upwards, stepping our right foot forward. Small step, coming up onto the left toes, reaching for the ceiling. You can stay right here, or you can begin to exhale, fold forward, reaching for the front wall as your left leg attempts to move parallel to the mat. Always feel free to move into your own modification of this posture. Let's exhale. Slowly release, keeping the arms up in the air. Small step forward with the left foot. Moving up onto the right toes, reaching for the ceiling. You can stay here or you can slowly begin to exhale. Fold forward, reaching for the front wall as the right leg attempts to move parallel to the mat. Always feel free to modify this posture as with all postures in this series. Always listening to your body. Let's exhale, slowly release. Hands to the hips, tree pose. We're gonna bring our right foot either up to the calf muscle up into the inner thigh, or you might be able to place your right foot up into the crease of the left thigh. It does not matter to me where you place your foot. What matters to me is that you are listening to your body. Hands in front of the heart center. Let's inhale, reaching for the ceiling, opening the arms, opening the heart. This is just like our victory pose. You should feel good about where you are in your life, feeling strong, mentally strong, physically strong. Let's exhale, slowly bring the hands back in front of the heart center. You can stay right here in this tree pose, or you be can begin to exhale, fold forward, placing the hands on the mat as you sit back onto the left heel for tiptoe pose. Now in a tiptoe pose, you can be up on the toes, or you can lay that foot down back behind you. Either way, you are listening to your body and remembering that yoga is never about pain. Let's exhale, slowly release. Hands to the hips. Tree pose, left side. We're gonna bring our left foot up to the calf, up into the inner thigh, or you can place your left foot up into the crease of the right thigh. Always remember never to place the foot directly on the knee. Hands in front of the heart center. Feeling good about who you are and where you are in this life, let's inhale, slowly reaching for the ceiling, opening up the heart. And exhale, hands back in front of the heart center. You could stay here or you can move forward into a tiptoe pose by folding forward, placing the hands on the mat and sitting back onto the right heel. Breathing your deep breath of life in through the nose. Exhaling through your throat. Let's exhale, slowly release, hands to the hips. We're gonna step our feet out to the outer edges of the mat. Toes are facing slightly outward. We're gonna inhale the arms overhead. Palms are pressing. You continue to reach for the ceiling. You have not given up. I want you to inhale, reach just a little bit more and slowly exhale the hands in front of the heart center. On your next inhalation, I want you to slowly move into a full squat, always listening to your body. Weight of the body should be on the heels. Palms are pressing, elbows inside the knees, heart is open, spine is straight. 
We call this a modified garland pose. You can stay here or place your hands on the mat in front of you. Challenge yourself to move into a crow pose, a crane pose, a headstand. Some of you might even be able to move into a scorpion pose. You are always listening to your body, challenging yourself to move beyond your limitations. But remembering that this class is about you and you alone. The ultimate guide in your life is not this video, nor is it my voice. It is your heart. It is your body. It is your mind. Let's exhale. Slowly release. We're going to turn over onto our spine as we move into our first rest pose. I want you to continue your deep breathing. Feel free to drink some water if you need to. Our pranayama breath, also known as the breath of life, is the foundation of our practice. It is the foundation of our standing postures as well as the foundation of our floor postures. Reclining gentle pose. We're going to bend the knees, placing the feet flat on the mat. And we're going to inhale, allow the knees to gently move outwards to the sides of the mat, opening up as if a butterfly as the soles of the feet come back together. The true challenge in this posture is to give up. It is to let go. It is to let go of the things in your life that serve you no purpose, which is causing the tension not only in your hips in this moment, but in your entire body. On your next exhalation, just challenge yourself mentally, physically to exhale, release, and let go. And let's inhale. Slowly bring the knees back together, pressing the knees together, engaging the inner thighs, strengthening the inner thighs, and exhale, straightening the legs out in front. Wind removing pose. We're going to bend our right knee and bring the knee all the way up into the chest, interlacing the fingers around the right knee. Pull the knee into the chest, really opening up your right hip, continuing to breathe deeply. You can stay here or move into your own modification of this posture. Let's exhale, slowly release. We're going to bend our left knee, bringing the knee up into the chest. Interlace your fingers around the left knee. Pull the knee into the chest, opening up your left hip. This is not a passive posture. There are no passive postures in this class. You are actively pulling the knee into the chest or outward towards the shoulder. Let's exhale, slowly release. Bending both knees, we're going to bring both knees up into the chest. Interlacing the arms around the legs, pull the knees into the chest, opening up the hips, releasing the lower spine by gently rocking from side to side. And then we're going to exhale, straighten the legs up towards the ceiling, firming up the abdomen, firming up the core, strengthening the core. You can stay here or you can exhale, move into a plow pose or a shoulder stand. Always listening to your body. Always moving beyond your limitations, but never to the point of pain. If you feel any pain at any time, just come back out of a posture. Still breathing. Let's exhale. Slowly bring the hips back down to the mat, keeping the legs straight. And slowly bring the heels back down to the mat. Challenging yourself to hover the heels over the mat if you are able. Continue that deep breathing. We're not holding our breath. Let's exhale. Release. Reclining twist. We're going to bend our left knee. Foot is flat on the mat. And we're going to exhale. Fold that left leg across the torso, twisting the spine. We're twisting the spine as if we wanted to adjust the spine. Looking back across the left side of the room, we are completing the twist. Never force yourself into the twist, but instead relax into this twist. Let's exhale. Release back to the center. 
Switching legs, we're going to bend the right knee and exhale, fold the right leg across the torso, twisting the spine. And as we look back across to the right side of the room, we are completing this twist. Remember to never force yourself into a twist, but instead to give up and to relax into this twist, breathing the breath of life. Let's inhale, release back to the center. Bending both knees, both feet are flat on the mat, foot to knee pose. We're gonna bring our right foot up and lay it across the left knee. And then we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the left knee, pulling the knee into the chest. Once again, opening up our right hip. You can feel free to stay here or move into your own modification of this posture. Always remember you are listening to your body you're not comparing yourself to anybody else's practice. This is your life. This is your breath. Let's exhale. Slowly release. Bending both knees. Feet flat on the mat. This time the left foot lays across the right knee. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the right knee, pulling the knee into the chest. We are opening up the left hip. You can stay here or you can move into your own modification of this posture. Continue your deep breathing and exhale. Slowly release. Bending both knees, feet flat on the mat, arms are reaching for the ceiling, palms are pressing together. We're going to inhale all the air the lungs can hold and slowly move up in a controlled manner into a sit up position. You can stay here or you can extend the legs straight out in front of you for a boat pose. Always feel free to move into your own modification of this posture. I love it when I see people listening to their own bodies. Let's exhale. Slowly release. We're going to turn over onto our abdomen facing the front of the wall. Cobra series of postures. Placing your hands up underneath the shoulders as the elbows move in towards the ribs. You might want to slightly adjust the hands a little further back, back towards the rib cage. Cobra pose. I want you to inhale all the air the lungs can hold, the chest, but only the chest comes up off the mat. You are arching the spine, protruding that heart forward. You can stay here or you can remove the hands from the mat. The choice is yours. Challenge yourself for two more seconds. Inhale, come up just a little bit higher. And slowly exhale, release, arms back behind us, palms facing the mat. And we're going to rock the hips from side to side to release any tension in the spine. Locust pose. We're going to inhale all the air the lungs can hold, but this time the entire torso is going to come up off of the mat. Knees and feet come up off the mat, arching the spine, protruding that heart forward, challenging yourself to feel mentally strong, physically strong. One more second, come up a little bit higher and slowly exhale release back into your mat rocking your hips from side to side release any tension that you might feel bending the knees feet move towards the ceiling for bow pose hands come back behind us gripping the ankles or the feet always listen to any knee issue that you might have inhale all the air the lungs can hold the entire torso comes up knees come up arching the spine protruding that heart strong mind strong body and slowly exhale release and we're going to move back into a child's pose in a child's pose your knees can be together or your knees can be apart. It is whatever is comfortable for you. This is your practice. This is your life. This is your breath. In through the nose. Slowly exhale through the throat. Let's inhale. We're going to move up onto the hands and knees for cat cow. On your inhalation, you're going to arch the spine, opening up the heart, gently looking towards the ceiling. And upon your exhalation, you're going to round the spine, tuck the tailbone, chin into the chest. And let's repeat. Inhale. Exhale. 
And on your next inhalation, we're going to move into a neutral position, and then we're going to move the torso up onto the knees. Camel pose. Hands are going to move back behind us, supporting the lower back. I want you to relax your shoulders and your neck. We're going to inhale, arching the spine, protruding the heart. We're going to move into a slight back bend. How far back you bend is completely up to you. Eventually, the hands might reach the heels as you move into a camel pose. Always challenging yourself to move beyond your limitations, but remembering yoga is not about pain. Supporting the lower spine, let's exhale, release. We're gonna bring the legs together and we're gonna sit back onto the heels. And then we're gonna exhale, fold the body forward across the legs, rabbit pose. We're gonna bring the hands behind us, gripping the heels. I want you to pull the body into the heels, rounding the spine up, forehead moves in to the knees. To challenge yourself further, you can bring the glutes up off of the heels if you are able, always listening to your body. Let's exhale. Slowly release, torso comes upright. We're gonna separate the heels just enough to be able to sit the body between the heels, reclining hero. We're gonna bring our hands back behind us. Always remember to listen to any knee or back issue. You can stay here or recline onto the hands, elbows, or spine. Continue your deep breathing. We're not holding the breath. We continue to breathe that breath of life. And on our exhalation, we're gonna release just a little bit more, giving up mentally and physically the things in your life that serve you no purpose. Let's inhale, slowly supporting the body. We're gonna move back up and slowly move into a downward facing dog, stretching the legs and knees back out. Tailbone is reaching for the ceiling. Wonderful. Let's bring the knees down to the mat. We're gonna turn over onto our spine, moving into our second rest pose. We're gonna bend our knees and place the feet flat on the mat. If you would like to move into a wheel pose, bring the hands back behind you and inhale slowly, lifting and arching the entire body up towards the ceiling. As an alternative, you can move into what's called a bridge pose by leaving the shoulders and arms on the mat and simply just pressing the hips towards the ceiling. Let's exhale, slowly release. Bringing the knees into the chest, we're gonna interlace the arms around the legs, pull the knees into the chest. We are releasing the hips. We are releasing the lower spine. You can always rock from side to side. It's a good moment to release the negative mind. The thoughts that serve you no purpose, just breathe into that thought and exhale, release the thought. As you exhale, straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. You can stay here challenging the core strength of your body, or you can move into a shoulder stand or a plow pose. Always feel free to experiment with these postures, but always listen to your body. This is your practice. This is your life. This is your breath. Let's slowly exhale, bringing the hips back down to the mat slowly bringing the heels back down to the mat. Challenge yourself to hover over the mat if you can for just a moment. Just when you think you have to release, hold those heels over the mat for one more second. Move beyond your limitations. Let's exhale, slowly release. Bending both knees, feet flat on the mat, arms are reaching. One more time, palms pressing. We're gonna inhale slowly in a controlled manner. Move up into a sit-up position. You can challenge yourself further if you like by moving into a boat pose. Only you know what your challenge is in this posture and in all postures. Let's exhale. Slowly release, the torso is upright. Seated forward folds. Right leg is straight, left foot moves to the inner thigh. Arms are reaching for the ceiling, opening up your heart. Slowly exhale, fold forward. 
directly across the right leg. Always feel free to modify this posture as you advance in your own practice. Excellent. Let's slowly release. Switching sides, left leg is straight, right foot moves to the inner thigh. Arms reaching for the ceiling, opening up the heart. Exhale, when you are ready, slowly fold forward across the left leg. Wonderful. Let's slowly exhale, release, both legs out in front. Seated spinal twist. Right leg moves up and over the left. Right hand is back behind us. Left arm is reaching for the ceiling. We're going to exhale, begin to twist towards the back wall. Elbow to the knee for leverage. On your inhalation, you're going to slowly reach for the ceiling and on your exhalation, twist. Let's exhale, release. Both legs out in front. This time the left leg moves up and over the right. Left hand behind us, right arm reaching, exhale, twist towards the back wall, elbow to the knee for leverage. On your inhalation, we're going to lengthen the spine up, and on your exhalation, we're going to twist just a little bit more. Remember that every inch counts in yoga. Let's exhale, release, back to the center. One more time, arms reaching for the ceiling, heart is wide open. Beautiful. Let's exhale, fold forward, reaching, releasing across your legs. Breathing in through the nose. And let's exhale, release one more posture. In today's class, we're going to move into a downward facing dog. Stretching the legs and knees back out. Tailbone reaching for the ceiling. Pigeon pose. Right leg is reaching up towards the ceiling. Hold for just a second and then slowly exhale. Fold your right leg up underneath the torso, laying it sideways across the mat, releasing your left leg as far back to that back wall as you can, opening the heart, sitting up straight. And exhale, we're going to fold forward, moving across the right leg. You can challenge yourself further by moving into your own version, your own modification of this posture. But remember, we're never looking for an easier way to move into a posture. We're always finding that challenge so we can move beyond our limitations. One more deep breath. Let's exhale. Slowly release into a downward facing dog. Left leg is reaching for the ceiling. We're going to fold the left leg up underneath the torso, laying it across the mat. We're going to release that right leg towards the back wall, sitting up straight, opening the heart. When you're ready, exhale, fold forward, moving across the left leg. Continue your deep breathing. One more deep breath in this posture. And we're going to exhale. Slowly release. Moving back into a downward facing dog. Stretching the legs and knees back out. Tailbone is reaching for the ceiling. And let's bring the knees down to the mat. Turn over onto our spine as we are moving into our third and final rest pose. Continue your deep breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the throat.
allow yourself to follow your breath follow your breath like it is the waves of an ocean moving in through the nose filling the lungs and slowly exhaling through the throat releasing back out into the atmosphere this is your life your breath challenge yourself on your next exhalation to give up to release onto your mat give up the things that serve you no purpose in this life you deserve to be happy you deserve to be loved you deserve to follow your dreams If you ever have a day where you don't feel so good about what you're doing in this life, remember one thing. All the people that exist on this planet right now, and all of the people that have existed on this planet since the beginning of history, none of them are like you. You are here for a reason. You are here for a purpose far deeper than being a consumer, far deeper than just going through the mundane things of life. You are special. This is your life, your breath. You are one of a kind. As we continue to follow our breath, let's take a few moments and rest in silence. Whenever you're ready, we're going to move the fingers and toes and begin to wake the body back up. And whenever you're ready, we're going to move to the right side of the body into a fetal position. Whenever you're ready, we're going to inhale. We're going to move into a seated position, whatever is comfortable for you. You should be proud of what you have accomplished in today's session. Always remember this is your practice. This is your life. This is your breath. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful day. Namaste.